from Assiniboine Community College presenting on the resistance of the Colorado potato beetle. Colorado potato beetles, or CPBs, are the most economically damaging pests to the potato crop. In Canada, we produce 400,000 acres of potatoes, and here in Manitoba, we produce just under 80,000 acres of potatoes, which means with our standard three-year crop rotation, we have 240,000 acres capable of producing potatoes. With all the chemical insecticides being sprayed these days, we are finding resistant problems in the pests that we are trying to control. With our large numbers of potato producing acres, you can see why the control of Colorado potato beetles is so important. So today I'm going to talk about the resistance of Colorado potato beetles. We're gonna to touch on their life cycle, how resistance occurs, how to manage it, and crop damage. So we'll start off with the adult beetle. They have their large wings form their hard bodies. They have alternating stripes of, stripes of black and yellow with a tan head. They overwinter in the soil up to 50 centimeters deep, where they emerge with in, in when the environmental conditions are over 10 degrees Celsius. However, 16 to 21 percent of these beetles do something called a diapause, where they continue overwintering for a second winter, and 2% of those beetles stay again for the third winter. When they emerge up in around May, the females then search a, for a suitable host to lay her eggs. She lays them in batches of 20 to 25, and can lay up to 500 in one season. It takes about four to 15 days for these eggs to hatch, and then the larvae feed from two to four weeks. Then they drop to the ground and go into something called a pupil chamber, which is where they develop their hard shell and they emerge two to four weeks later. These beetles mate in the spring and in the fall. So now we'll discuss how resistance occurs. Development of insecticide resistance in insects is in an insect population is a typical evolutionary process of survival of the fittest. This is caused by internal or external factors of, and random mutations. However, the survival shift and reproduction success is usually lower. The, they lay fewer eggs, they have lower hatch rates, and slower development. And if we just go back here, You can see we have a field full of susceptible beetles, and then when the farmer sprays the same chemical family multiple times, they develop two resistant beetles. When the farmer then sprays again, he kills the susceptible beetles, leaving the two resistant beetles, which thrive on the absence of the competition, where they mate and multiply, leaving only resistant beetles in that field. Now, how can we manage this resistant problems? Crop rotation is our number one method. However, due to high beetle mo mobility, these crops need to be significantly, significantly a distance apart in order for this method to be successful. The beetles can, can fly up to 10 kilometers in optimum conditions. Other me methods could be biological control, such as placing rye or wheat mulches in your field to attract their predators of ladybird bugs and lacewings that feed on their eggs. You can also plastic line your ditches. However, in Manitoba, the only one that's performed is crop rotation due to expense. Our fields are just too big to perform these other methods. There is also genetically modified seed. However, from 2005, 1995 to 2000, the U.S. registered and sold a genetically modified seed that was discontinued due to customer complaints of consuming genetically modified foods.
now we'll discuss damage to the crop. Defoliation of the crop causes yield loss. The econom economic threshold of a potato crop is 10%. After you see the 10% defoliation, treatment should be applied. However, these plants can tolerate up to 20 to 25% before the yields will be significantly affected. This can result in loss of money. This is an arising problem that needs to be kept under control before it gets beyond repair. Due to our large production amounts in our province, we cannot lose this battle versus the Colorado potato beetle. We should be looking at other methods aside from chemical insecticides. If we work together to find the solution, we can take control and continue to produce our large numbers of potatoes yearly.